Good afternoon traders. If you've recently downloaded Weeble 5.0 and you have updated to the latest software version, which is 5.0.5, then this video is gonna be very helpful to you, especially if you use the screeners like I do on the markets tab. The active screener organizes all the stocks by volume and shows you the top 20 stocks being traded by volume, which is a great catalyst to move the stock in whatever direction it's already moving in. But you can see in 5.0.5, for whatever reason, the percent change column is not printing correctly. And I've already messaged Weeble about that, so I'm expecting it to be resolved fairly shortly. So here's our message, and I'll show you the screenshots that I sent them. So this is what it should look like. This shot was taken today at the exact same time as this one. The only difference is that this is Weeble 5.0.5 from my desktop, and at the exact same time, I took a screenshot from my laptop, which is using the 5.0.1 version. So you can see the difference. The, these are uh, the stocks at the exact same time on the exact same day, and look at the percent change column over here, and then here you see those exact same stocks, and look at the percent change column here. Obviously, there is an issue with 5.0.5. So. If you've already got the latest update and you're wondering, well, how can I still use that trade that uh, screener to trade with? I'll show you right now. So let's go to the customized screener. I've shown you how to set this up in the past, but all this is is the active screener, the top gainer screener, and quotes. So if you've already got the latest update and you're wondering how to work around this issue. What you can do is just use the top gainer in conjunction with the active volume screener. And for example, if you click on AMC and it meets your float size criteria, you can go over to the top gainer and you can see, okay, it is on the top gainers list. So uh, if you use that as an additional criteria to take trades, that would be the way to do that. Uh, Sun SNDL does not meet my float size requirements, so that wouldn't be one that I would consider anyway. Same thing with Ford. See NBRV, that is within my float size requirement. So then I would go over and check the, uh, it actually looks like that might be correct. Let's see, no, it's not. So NBRV is not on the top gainer. So that's interesting because it shows here that it's up 44.59%, uh, yet it is not in the top gainers list. So if it's not on the top, unless I'm missing it, but I don't think I am. If it's not in the top gainers list, then it doesn't uh, go on my list. So let's just keep going. I'll show you maybe a couple more examples. So this one is red, so it's obviously not gonna be, oh, here's the other way, I'm sorry. The other way that you can confirm, you know, here it showed 40% a second ago. Look at the quotes, it shows you that it's only up 3%. So obviously that was wrong. That's what we should be doing uh, before we even look at the top gainers. There it is again, showing 44% percent change. So obviously not correct. This one we don't even have to check the top gainers because it's red. Here's one that's 31% up, so more than likely that will be on the top gainers list. It is. Does it meet the float size requirement? Not mine, but it may meet yours. So just giving you a few examples. See, TRM I know is a large float. It's red, so it won't be on the top gainers. NAKD is also a large float size. Uh, Express I know is a, a lower float, but again, look, see it's showing you 2.54%, but we can check over here on the quotes and see that it's up 25%. Is it on the top gainers? It has to be because the lowest top gainer is 16%. So you can go down the list and uh, pick your stocks that way if you tend to uh, trade that way like I do. So anyway, hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, hit the like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you have any questions about this screener, about this version of Weeble, or anything else, please let me know in the comment section below. No matter what screeners you use, what criteria you use to look at stocks, you should always have your own plan going into every trade. Doesn't matter what anybody else is saying about the stock. Have a stop loss, have a profit target. Always take your stop losses no matter what. Honor your profit targets. And then in the long run, you should be green. Take care.